Hi guys, welcome to Charcoin Explore and this is your host Shanmog. So today in this video, I am going to show you a detailed overview on how to apply for master study in Netherlands. Well, if you are an international student dreaming to study in Netherlands, then watch the video till end. It's going to be very, very helpful to you. So if you guys are new to my channel, consider subscribe. Now, without doing any delay, let's dive into the video. Today in this video, I will cover each and every step you need to follow and I will also mention the duration for each and every step. So let's start with step 1. Choose program and check admission requirements. Now I will show you how you can check the admission requirements for your desired program. For instance, I am showing what I did for my master's program. Well, currently I am studying in Utrecht University in Netherlands. So first thing you need to do is that search the university and the program you are going to choose. Like uh, in my case Utrecht University Artificial Intelligence. Then click on the official website of the university. And here I am going with an example and you can try with different university with different courses. Then next you can view the admission and application. Select that. Then it direct to the page and here you need to be conscious of selecting with which degree you are applying so in my case i did my bachelor's in india so i choose non-dutch university that means you are applying for the masters with a non-dutch university degree for each choice there have different requirements so for this non-dutch university degree for artificial intelligence there has requirements like the bachelors need to meet with some courses and you need to have proper knowledge on some following topics then later you can view english language requirements and here there is a note that whenever you want to apply you need to eligible all of these requirements then you can go for it for instance you can view in ielts the minimum score is 6.5 and at least you need to score 6 in other sections and there is no gre required and here you can also check the deadline for your application for different intakes. Well, this is how you need to figure out the entry requirement for the university and for your application. Next step to gather required documents. So in this step, you need to gather all the necessary documents for your application, such as diploma, mark sheet, academic transcripts, resume, statement of purpose, LOS, and some uh, language test mark sheets. So and also in some courses they may ask some additional documents and they also provide some templates for that you can also view and you can fill and you can submit the document for your application process. Following that step 3 submit online application. So the actual process began from now. So first you need to send an application to the university which you prefer through the centralized application platform called StudyLink. So then within two days after applying in the study link, you will receive an email. In that email, you will get an username and password to finish your application process by uploading few documents from the respect to university. So in my case, we need to upload the document in the Osiris online application to finish my application process. So for that application process, we need to pay 75 to 100 euros depend on the course and the university and it will take around four weeks to listen a decision from the university and the last second step is accepting the offer so once they accept your admission you can accept the offer where you upload the document for in my case it's osiris so then you will receive an invoice of tuition fee which need to pay before a certain deadline mentioned in the invoice step 5 apply for visa and this is the final step you need to do to fill your visa application where you need to upload some essential documents like tuition fee receipt living expenses cost and uh, some other important document so don't worry i gonna make a video soon where i can show you everything clear and crystal so after submitting your visa application it take two to three weeks then you will get an email that you are accepted so that is how the process goes and i provide a detail over you which you need to follow for your master admission in netherlands 
in this video i gonna show you from where you can start your application process for netherlands master studies so my a number of people don't know from where they need to start their application process so this video is gonna be very helpful to you guys so watch the video till end it's gonna be useful to you so before going to start the application process check that you are eligible for the course you choose or not so to check that you can directly go to the official website of the university and you can have a look the first and foremost thing we need to do is that to create an account in study link so what is study link so study link is an online platform which acts as a central hub to apply for any university in netherlands so if i say shortly it can help us to apply enroll manage communicate to any university in netherlands well the process goes like this first you need to create an account in the study link then you can apply for the course you desire to have in the particular university then the university will receive your application through study link then finally after that university will monitor you separately for the following step you need to do to study in netherlands now without doing any delay let's start creating study link account so to create study link account first browse the study link and click on the first link appears then it will direct us to the home page so at the bottom you can view login and create account click on the create account well to create study link account there will be four steps to follow first personal information second address third contact and fourth summary so first we need to choose the nationality so in my case i am an indian i will choose that so later we need to scan the identity proof like passport so it will instruct how we need to scan by few example you need to follow the example and scan your passport exactly like that so after the scan of your identity proof the information will appear in the respect to section so check multiple times whether it scanned your information correctly or not like your son name name date of birth everything so if it did not match scan it again until and unless it match your information so once it match your information then check the box that states the information is correctly match so after that click next succeeding that step 2 need to fill the address there is a note make sure that the address you fill is need to match your scanned identity proof then cross check and click next following that step 3 contact information here email address plays a crucial role so be conscious while filling the email address and password then phone number is not that much used but need to fill after that press next well we came to the final step of creating study link account and that is summary check all the details you fill till now is correct or not once you finish your final check make sure to tick the check boxes and click create so then you will receive a confirmation email from the email you can able to activate your study link account after activating the account we will direct to the study link home page but this time we need to log in then it will direct to the main page of the study link where you can find my red options like home study program previous education message payment and details to apply for the universities in netherland we need to click study program and after that need to choose add new enrollment application so from here your actual application process starts in study program you can use submit enrollment application where we need to follow four steps to submit the application first choose study program second study program details third institutional questions and fourth confirm right there we can choose which program we want to pursue in master studies and beside that we can view which universities offer the course or else you can simply enter your preferences in the search according to that it will display from here you can view every course for any university in netherlands for instance i choose computer science in utrecht university and the study program level is wo masters and the course will be full time and finally the language of the course is english this is what i choose 
so the result appears beside and you can have a look of the course details thoroughly so and also you can check for multiple university at the same time so if you decided to do the program then click select succeeding that you gonna view study program details check once and choose first year in start as and then click next following that you will be asked few institutional questions which change among university and it's a general questions you need to answer for that so lastly confirm your application and check the details and tick the check boxes and confirm so after around the two weeks you will receive an email from the university for further steps to follow in this video i gonna show you how you can upload your document to master study in netherlands well as i mentioned earlier when you apply to the university through study link you will get a email within two days with your username and password and this is the email i got from the university and i applied to the utrek university in netherlands and in this mail you can find username and password and also some steps to follow so in my case i need to upload my documents in osiris online application and by clicking on the osiris online application it direct to that page well this is the page for osiris online application and in this page we can track our application status so first choose language so well i choose english then log in with the details provide in the mail then you can start uploading the document to the course you choose so to upload click on the view edit option then it show the program name and then press continue now you need to do seven steps to upload your documents and here you can view the steps like uh, choose program welcome questions and documents additional questions and document disclaimer application fee and submit application well here i am showing my application what i did so in welcome session they provide a overview of the steps you need to follow read it and then click continue following that questions and document and this section is very important and be careful while uploading the document and there is a note that you need to upload all document in pdf format only so first upload your passport following your bachelor's mark sheets so if you still in your final year of bachelor's you can upload till six semesters mark sheet and also you need to provide some additional documents mentioned for some questions for instance for question number two you need to submit proof of anticipate degree and they provide the template please fill it and upload so if you face any issue you can drop a mail to the university and they will respond very quickly and then transcript and next you need to upload your english requirement uh, result so in my case i give ielts mark sheet and i also provide some scores in the section so next click continue we will go to the next step following section is additional questions and documents and in this section you need to upload your resume and your statement of purpose also known as motivation letter then press continue then you will go to the disclaimer section then give permissions for that and jump to the succeeding step and again this application fee section is very important be careful so first read this section carefully what they mention so to proceed your application you need to pay 100 euros which is non refundable and you can pay with visa mastercard and mastrocard and then go with the payment then we came to the final step and that is submit application so cross check your application multiple time that you upload the correct document or not and then submit so after submitting you will receive an mail from the university and also you can check your application status in osiris online application lastly within 3 to 4 weeks you will receive an email from the university about your decision so it took me exactly 20 days to receive my decision from the university and the email looks like this and i got conditional admission then immediately accept the offer which written in the mail how to do and which you need to do in the osiris online application so if you done by accepting the offer half of your application process done so and by the way 
congratulations and be happy for that so then after accepting the offer you need to do few other steps which guided by the university so in this video we going to discuss after accepting the offer from the university what you need to do and what are the steps you need to follow well after accepting the offer from the university within 3 to 4 days you will receive a confirmation email which look like this after getting confirmation email from the university what do you need to do you thought about that well there is a pro tip from my side that after getting confirmation email from the university just start your education loan process as a safe side and if you wish you just go for it because there is lot of duration between confirmation and the next step you need to do so go for education loan in the meanwhile time Now I will show you the timeline between the process of mine. Well, I accept the offer on March 28 and I got confirmation from university on April 3 and I got an email from university regarding fee invoice and deadline on May 1 and between April 3 to May 1 I did not receive any kind of emails regarding application process. In the duration the university will guide us like how you can find accommodation in netherlands and some pre departure week kind of things they will plan so well i will do a separate video on how a student can find housing in netherlands in further videos so stay tuned for that before showing you the fee details invoice i would like to show a infographic timeline for visa application which sent by the university well in the beginning you will receive a invoice of fee details and the deadline to pay and submitting your visa application then after submitting the visa office take at least one or two weeks to review your documents and in the visa application if you did anything wrong in uploading document they will provide you an extra time to upload the documents again and then once the visa office find the application is complete they will send to the dutch immigration office and they will approve the application within 2 to 5 weeks so finally you will get a confirmation email then you can happily fly to netherlands well this is the email where you can find an invoice of tuition fee details and there also you can find a deadline like this well down you can find a attachment where in that invoice you can see my course name my name my details and a tuition fee where you need to pay all this amount in the beginning of the year now i think you may get doubt that uh, what type of documents are required and where i can upload that well to upload the documents for visa application we need to go to osaris where it's a standard platform since you start your application process well after login with osaris you will find application for visa and then click on the view edit then you will get to start filling the details which required for visa application first you will get to see the general details of yours and then by clicking continue you will actually start your visa application process well there are actually seven steps to submit your visa application already we complete the general section so now we are looking into the second section where some general questions were asked regarding your nationalities and they also want you to submit your passport pdf so answer to these questions very correctly and in this section you will get to see one main and important question at which dutch embassy you would like to pick your entry visa choose the answer wisely because once you submit you can't change it the next step is financial mean where in this section you need to upload the transaction receipt you did for university of your tuition fee to confirm from the university you can drop an email to them and then you can upload that receipt in a pdf format and then the living expenses amount where the university decide a certain threshold for master student depend on the city and cost of living well for me 12000 euros for a year where i need to show this 12000 euros in my home country bank account and i need to upload a statement in a pdf format and at last there are few questions regarding sponsorship and scholarship and the next section is additional requirement and in this section few documents were required for the university well there are the documents which we need to upload first 
that is antecedent certificate if you don't know what is it you can click on the name it will direct you to the website where it will explain about the document and why it's important so simply go through that and you can find a form just fill it and upload in that section in pdf format and next you need to fill tb test declaration form where it is mandatory for few nationality people and check whether you belongs from that category or not if else fill the form with the instruction they mention and upload the document in pdf format in visa application form and next the final document we need to submit in the visa application form and that is proof of insurance as a student there is a health insurance mandatory for a year before going to netherland well to go with the insurance there are few instruction written on that well the university will guide you how to go with the health insurance there is a platform called aon student and you can also find insurance for exchange student utrek university well the university have a tie up with the health insurance company and they provide cheap rates to the international students click on the website it will direct to the insurance page which contain info regarding on that scroll down you can find a website of aon click on that it will direct to the home page of aon health insurance and then get started and fill the details which it ask and there is a important note that in the start date and the end date please enter one year because you register for a year and you need to pay health insurance for a year so keep in mind and then go to the next step if you scroll down you will get to see how much you are paying per day and how much you are paying per a month so you need to pay for 12 month at once and give few details and go with the payment and upload the confirmation in form of pdf so after uploading the document we almost came to the final steps just enter a monthly amount you have to spend in netherland here just enter the average amount like around 750 800 euros and now click continue in the last second step you need to pay application fee well the visa application fee for netherlands masters is 257 euros so after uploading all the document pay the application fee and review all the document and the answer you choose in the visa application check twice and submit the application form if you did anything wrong don't worry the university will send an email regarding to change the answer or upload the correct document so no need to worry you have a second chance so after that just submit but make sure that you need to submit your visa application form before the deadline that need to be in your mind so in this video i gonna talk about so many misconception of visa entry to netherland so i will clear each and every step and i will share my personal experience well after submitting your visa application in good order you will receive a confirmation email like this and hold some patience and relax for few weeks because the dutch immigration service take few weeks to approve your visa application and one fine day you will receive an email of your approval this means you are eligible to fly to netherlands and you got your mvv visa which means like long stay visa but later what to do for visa appointment and what type of documents you need to carry and what to prepare now we will look everything clearly well in this confirmation email there is a attachment below if you open it it consists of important information about the entry visa it clearly explain what will happen during your appointment with the embassy and it states that during the appointment the embassy will collect your biometric data with few documents like your passport and uh, an mvv issue form with a recent passport size photo and with a proof of medical insurance certificate that's it and also this document provide useful info regarding your visa validity how long it will take from embassy to receive your passport and so many stuff before going to interview just go through this pdf
now if you look at the confirmation email in that email there is a website so further steps we're gonna do from this website so first click on the website and it will direct to this page first fill your country and then click next then it will direct to the page where it offer information regarding how you can apply long stay visa MVV for residents of India well it also offer information for different countries in the same manner well if you scroll down it clearly explain each and every topic and people who wish to study in Netherlands or work in Netherlands they need to apply for a residence permit and a MVV and here an important point to keep in mind for Netherlands the host will apply your visa to embassy as behalf of you so when you do any mistake the host will ask you to rectify and once you meet with all the documents only it will send to embassy so because of this the accuracy of rejecting visa is zero because of this they having multiple layer of checking of documents and for me the host is educational institute and people who work here for them the company will be the host and if we scroll bit down there is a section what do i need to do once the application approved well there are few documents we need to carry for visa appointment in that first and the important one is mvv issue form if you click on the link the form will open well this is a mvv issue form in the beginning you need to attach your recent passport size photo which meet dutch requirements and we will see the photo requirement further and in this form the first section will be the general info please fill the answers correctly and in the section one the question number 1.14 type of travel document here you need to check ordinary passport and the following question you fill according to that answer and in the section number two i will give some tips you can follow and its purpose of your stay in the netherlands well we are student like we need to choose study well in that section the question number 2.5 ask you some date of departure so if you book your flight ticket it well and good if not give a random date but make sure the date need to be like between one month from your visa appointment date and for the address you can give university address that's not at all a problem and for question 2.7 you need to check the s box because we are applying our visa through host so whatever question ask for host just check the s box and complete the form by doing signature so now if you look at the dutch photo requirements on your mvv issue form as you can carry few to your visa appointment also so there mentioned very clearly the dimension the width of the face the length of the face very clearly so once you plan to take passport size photo show this requirement to your photographer he will click your passport size photo according to that next we are going to see an important step well if you scroll bit down you will find the steps for long stay visa in step 1 it say prepare your document till now we just look about the document very clearly in step 2 make an appointment online well it's very simple to schedule an appointment click on the link it will direct you to the appointment scheduling page then select make an appointment then here you need to choose the embassy which you provide in the visa application form so make sure that you provide the same embassy and uh, in the application category i choose mvv study because i am doing my masters and fill the details and choose good time slot for your visa appointment once you make an appointment you will receive an email of your appointment letter which look like this so make sure that you have a printout of this document also and in this email there again provide some mandatory documents which you need to carry for your visa appointment and that are MVV application form to passport size photo valid passport with a printout of that and IND approval letter means the confirmation email which we got next step 3 and step 4 very interesting and bit new that the visa along with passport from the embassy will be couriered to your place so for that reason we need to book a courier service well in india dtdc is the best 
and this page also recommend to do DTDC and they also provide how you can do and how to approach them and they also provide the phone number just call them and uh, ask the process and pay how much they charge for you for me they charge 1500 rupees and also print this disclaimer form which ask your details to deliver the passport with visa and also you can track the application by the code so you need to carry this disclaimer form with the mandatory document during your visa appointment keep in mind this is also very useful so that's it we are all good to go for visa appointment with all these documents Well, if I talk about my personal experience during visa appointment, well, I was clueless. Because in my circle, I am the only person who applied to the Netherlands master and nobody there to hate me as well. But all my circle are planning to go to USA and I also called to my friends like regarding visa interview. And they're all there in USA and they bring their experience like how they pay. They visa the interview for USA and I thought like it might be similar and I was very tense because USA visa interview is like very tough so I was like going through it's very tough it's very tough I need to be very conscious but when I go through that embassy well I flew New Delhi in India when I went to the embassy very earlier and I just see nobody is there and I am the only person that on that day. Well, I literally know what happened that day. Like I went and I asked to the person who allow everyone to go one by one. So sir, I was very tense. Like I don't know, like this my like first time. I don't know. Then he told me everything will be very good. Don't worry. Then while walking to the office inside, I was literally like tense. I extremely panicked. When the walking to the office, there will be like around uh, 120 meters. I was recalling all the things we say by my friends and my family. When I went inside, he told me to take the seat. I sat and I was like praying God like everything will be alright, everything will be alright. And I hand over my documents to him like passport and the, all the required documents I gave to him. And he asked me, I know he asked me only one question. And he asked me which university you have applied. Then I told it like university. Then he took my biometric and I handed my passport and he told within a week we will deliver the passport to your place. Then he told you may leave now. I was that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it, you can go. Then while coming back, I was like very jubilant over the moon because so much I prepared, I carried all my documents but when I went inside, he took only the documents which I show in the video and he just asked which video and he took my binary. That's it. No extra questions at all. Then I was very happy and I shared this thing to all my friends and family. Then and I issued my visa within a week to my home. That's it. Very simple, very simple. No need to worry at all. And I also want to share some uh, mistakes which you can avoid with ID. So first thing first, read the instruction before going to the campus. Because I did not went to the instruction, but I made sure you to have that all the instructions thoroughly in your mind. And next thing. Choose the empathy near to your home place because I did not know that uh, there is an accuracy. I thought like uh, if you go to this embassy, the probability higher. I think like that, but nothing like that. You can choose embassy which is near to your place. The mistake I did, you can avoid. And make sure you make the DTPC courier prior before going to embassy because I did not read the. When I went to the embassy, the person over there told me you need to have the DTDC courier with your document. So I was very panicked, but the help of me, I did in like 5 to 10 minutes to so make sure you can avoid this mistake. And uh, lastly, be relaxed, everything is calm, 
and everything will be go very smoothly because once you receive the email from the visa that your application is approved that means you got your visa nobody can stop you until unless you go to the embassy after making a point overall i hope each and every video of this admission process to like make you get a proper idea on each and every step and then it helps you to start your application process as soon as possible so again if you have any doubt you can comment me or else you can dm in the instagram i will help you so no need to worry so uh, that's all for this admission process so and uh, stay tuned to charbon expert for more interesting videos so this is your shanmukh signing off